Hey, good evening, folks. Welcome to this Let's Go Fishing show. And uh, Bill, Mike, we're glad to be back on. Oh, buddy, I ain't lying. I'm going to tickle death to be here. <laughs> I am, I'm glad to have you here. Yeah, uh, we missed last week, and, 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 you know, it was a good cause, and and we understand things change occasionally, but, boy, I swear, it just seems like we've been gone forever. That's right, that's right. <laughs> but it wasn't for changes. Wouldn't, wouldn't be fun, would it? That's exactly <laughs> right, exactly right. Yeah, we was glad to get to work with uh, uh, the studio over here and and uh, accommodate the high school football games. They had to make a few changes, and and uh, so uh, uh, we missed the show, but we, we made up for it fishing, Bill. Oh, I, <laughs> hey, I know, I know all about that. Show, I show do. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't go weekends every night, but. I got to go a few times that uh, that I couldn't get to go with y'all. So, uh, yeah, I know all about this here fishing. I've made up a lot of good time. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Hey, uh, uh, like I said, folks, we uh, w- w- want to welcome all of you here to the show. It's watching and uh, uh, want to say hello to Dad and Polly and, and to Miss Lee uh, there in Oliver Springs. Uh, she ran into my wife at the grocery store the other day and said she's she really enjoyed the show and and uh, didn't miss any. That's great. That's and great. I, huh? and I said, "Well, that's great. That's good to hear." But yes, I tell you, Joe is. Yes, sir. <laughs> glad glad to uh, uh, that she's watching and uh, also to uh, uh, my sister Vicky, uh, her brother-in-law uh, passed away this morning, and I want to let her know that we uh, thought some prayers would be with you, Vicky, you and Dennis, right. and. Uh, uh, we'll we'll catch up with you uh, when you get get things done and can give us a call. So uh, uh, just wanted to let them know that, and I know she's watching. All righty, hey, we got some film. Uh, Seven twenty one. That was uh, July. Still got film back from July. We hadn't missed many Friday nights. No, we haven't. Huh? <laughs> Friday nights or Saturday nights. Uh, that's, 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 yeah, when they're biting, we, we was on them for two nights in a row, wasn't we, yeah, Bill? That's exactly right, son. Yes, sir. Uh, so uh, we've got uh, film uh, starting on 721, and, uh, you know, if we run to have time, we'll move on into 728 and and uh, uh, show some film that, you know, that week. And just depends on how the time goes. Yes, I don't sir. know how much... Uh, you and Mike uh, got to film it. This is, it depends on how many fish we catch. Ain't that's it? right. That's exactly <laughs> right. Well, it, uh, I tell you what, Steve, it, it's been awful good. It really has, son. And uh, it's slowed down a little bit right now, and I can understand why. But uh, it has really been been good. It, now. It, it, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Bill. We've mentioned it before uh, in the last few weeks. But uh, I run into a gentleman up there uh, last week. Uh, last Friday night at the boat ramp, and uh, I, and he said, uh, "Boy, you boys have been on the match." I said, "Yeah, we ha- we have had a good three or four months, yeah, three right. months here." That's exactly right. And uh, uh, without a doubt, we've caught a lot of fish, and and uh, you know, and and now I don't care to tell you, they're they're a little bit slower now than what they were. A whole lot slower, right? Yeah. I. I, I I've even got a report just for the last two or three days, and I fished, and son, when they cut that water off, Steve, it, you take, I, I used to not think a whole lot about that, but I tell you what, son, when they cut that water off them fish, they, they where, where they have been, they sort of been holed up right there. Mm-hmm. When they cut that water off, son, they went, scattered. They scattered like you wouldn't believe, son, and They've yeah. been tougher than they Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they they sure have. Uh, I don't know. Uh, last weekend, we didn't catch very few. We didn't catch 
uh, I don't know, Mike, me and you was up there one night. Let's see, we put 12, me and you and Wesley went Sunday night after church. Uh, and, no, put 12 in the boat that put night. Put 12 in the boat and, that and night. And the yeah. next night, me and Mike Bolden went, and we put nine in the boat. Yeah. But they was, uh, we checked at the dam, and they were still running water. At 1.30, at 1.30, they cut the water off. We already had nine fish, and at 1.30, they cut the water off. Son, from 1.30 to 3 o'clock, we never had another bite. And I told Mike, I said, hey, son, I got more to do than this. Yeah. I got things to do at home. So I said, I'm going, let's go home. I ain't, it ain't worth it. I, I, I agree. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Sunday night, we, uh, Mike, what do you remember about uh, Sunday night when we got up there? Well, it seemed like it's a dang challenge to keep swapping baits until you mm -hmm. can just keep narrowing down to find the right color that they want. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you go back up there where we had been going back up there throwing the same thing, and they were still hitting it, and then all of a sudden, man, you had to change up. Yeah. And sometimes it would just change the pork rind from watermelon yeah. uh, to the pumpkin or the root beer, root beer or, or, beer or yeah. something like that. Just change the yeah. pumpkin, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you had to change yeah. the dang skirt and, and start using a different uh, skirt. Sometimes it takes one it was mixed up, and sometimes it didn't, you know. Yeah, yeah. multicolored or, 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 or solid color, yeah. yeah. And I think uh, a lot of that had, may have had to do with the moonlight or something. I tell you what, I was like you, I was changing color and changing color, and yeah. I, I said, uh, I had I had another friend that I went with, I said, I'm going to put me a piece of yellow pork chunk yeah. on this. Then I put a yellow piece of pork chunk on that thing, and it wasn't no time. Well, I had four fish in the boat, bam, bam, bam. I, yeah. I said, I finally run up on a color they like. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Well, Mike's right. He, 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 he's right. We, that that uh, one jig, I guess, has been, uh, it, you, you didn't have to, t if you had that on there, you didn't have to do nothing else. Just show up up there. And you yeah, that's them. right. I, I mean, for a couple of months, it just, Week, in, week after week, we caught them on the same thing. Same thing. Yeah, whether the moon was out or whether it was dark. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. And uh, now, uh, uh, my, let's see, we went Friday night, uh, last Friday night, Mike and I did, and then Mike and Wesley and I went on Sunday night there uh, till about 1 or 2 o'clock. And... Uh, uh, they quit Wesley, on you. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they quit and, because we didn't, I guess the last... 30, 40 minutes to close to an hour, we didn't catch a fish, I don't think, did we? Missed two, I think. Missed two, that's right, that's right. Yeah, we did get another bite or two, but we yeah. didn't get them. Uh, and then last Friday night, now, me and Mike was up there, and shucks, we had a hold of some pretty good fish. I don't remember how many. We got them on film. Yeah. And But, we, you know, we still didn't do as good Sunday night as we did Friday night. And uh, but we, you know, it, it's hard. It, was, it got tough. The last uh, hour or so there, yeah, it was yeah, tough. That's right. Hey, it, dog days of summer is about yeah. over. Yeah. And <laughs> I, they always said dog days of summer was the toughest part of the fishing. Well, I I agree with them there with the water and everything, but uh, it's about over here. And after this year, next holiday, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to. Uh, the water starts cooling off, the temperatures start cooling off. That's my time. That's uh, my time to be on the water. That's right. <laughs> I hear you. That's a good time. This fall fishing is good. On Friday night, I never caught a fish on a Sunday mm -hmm. night. No, I know. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. So. I had the dang bottom of the boat filled full of baits yeah. and I'd change them. Yeah. Uh, plastics laying everywhere. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, uh, it's a sight. Well, anyway, we're going to show the film, and uh, uh, I don't remember now. I know Mike, you and Bill's in there, and and uh, we'll see what goes on, and uh, uh, we'll come back and talk about that. And if we have time, we'll show some more film. That's right, old buddy. All right. Brad, anytime you're ready. All right, folks, I got Bill here with me. It's Friday the 15th, and we up here on North, and... There goes Steve and Wesley out through there. I hope they catch a fish tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> maybe he can get them on film there and, and prove it to us. Uh, sometimes it's hard to take his word on that. But uh, me and Bill, we're going to 
film ours anyway, and uh, you'll get to see them when we, we catch them. We, we gonna catch them. We, we gonna, gonna catch them too. That's right, Mike. We we got the bait, and uh, all they gotta do is just bite. <laughs> That's right. That's exactly right, son. Yes, sir. Yeah, we'll put them in the boat here. So uh, stick with us, and Steve says remember the sponsors, and let's go fishing. Let's go. Hey, oh yeah, there he is. Oh, Mike got a little in here. And our first fish of the night. Well, look how fat he is, though. He's fatter than a, he's fat as he can be. Hey, they, they, the traffic is a little heavy. It's hard to stay in the boat. The waves is so bad. Yeah. That's <laughs> All right there, Mike, old buddy. Yeah. Put him back in there and let's, yeah, put him over there where he won't bother the rest of them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, son. He got my line, huh? Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. All right, look here, old. No, he just got there off. he went. <laughs> <laughs> there he went, son. Yeah. Now, what color pork rind you got on, punk? Watermelon. Watermelon, yeah. That's. Yeah, son of a gun. That's a pretty good fit. He just come off. He did? Yeah. Okay, old Mike got one here, buddy. We 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 ain't seen him here yet, but he's there he's he there he comes, there he is right there. Right there he is, Mike. Oh look at him. He took off back down the road. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> he wants to hide under the boat. Look there, look at there. Oh son, look at that. Big nice fat slicking. Yeah. <laughs> Big nice fat slicking there, buddy. Yes, sir, Mike. He's a nice one. Well, he's not much coming that. unhooked. I'll tell yes, you that. Sir. Nice and nice and buddy. Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, maybe it's that about time we got in them. Yeah. I hope so anyway, I don't do you? Too. Yeah. All right. Let's get a large mouth. All right, old Mike. You got him a little large mouth there, old buddy. Get that there little jig. Yes, sir. You got a good hold on him, ain't you, Mikey boy? Yeah. Yes, sir. A little largemouth. Well, I'm glad to see him. Largemouth come back in the lake. Here we go. Here we go. Old Mikey, he, uh, he got him a, him a one here, buddy. He ain't the he ain't the biggest in the in the lake, but he's a he's a nice one. He's a he's a dancer, ain't he, Mike? Yeah, he wants to. Yeah, he wants to dance all over the boat. <laughs> he wants to dance all over the boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You won't open that mouth for nothing. Yes, sir, old buddy. There you go. Nice, that boy got good color, ain't they? Good color, huh? Yes, sir, old buddy. Well, he done away with the bait. Gonna have to put another on, ain't he? No, he just slung it off, didn't he? Slung it off, buddy. All right, son. We got him back in the water, so we're gonna catch another one. <laughs> nice fish there, Mike. Yes, yeah. sir. Look at that. Him is a, him is a cracker jack, as the old boy says. You got him in that hard part of the mouth, ain't you, son? Yeah. Yes, sir. Look at that, buddy. That's a, that's a dandy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a good 18, 19 inch fish, Mike. Yeah. Uh, he come off. Come off. Got another boat. Got another boat. There you go. That beats anything I've ever seen. Huh. Oh well. Have to keep keep junking at him. Yeah, Bill's got one on here. Him the right kind. Yeah, it's like a good one coming up here. It's like a dandy coming up here. Yeah. Hey, my old buddy. Yeah. 
That nut up through the nose there. Right where it's supposed to be. Right where it's supposed to be, too. Yes, sir. Right up, right up, right up through the nose there. Mm -hmm. Him right. a dandy. It's a dandy, too. Boy, fat. I like, I like the way they. I like the way they. Yep. All right. Get the boat back. Okay, son. Old Mike got one on here. Let's see here, we, we ain't seen him yet, but he's uh, got the rod bent. Oh, there he is, see him? See him, look at our boy, he's up there, not to look at him, our old buddy. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, real old buddy. Yes, sir, he's a, he's a dandy. All right. Okay, folks, it's breaking daylight, as you can see. Me and Bill's going to call it quits and uh, go to the house. We've caught caught yeah, quite a few, but I think we've let more get off than we've caught. That's right, we have. <laughs> we, we've let a whole lot get off for some unknown reason. I don't know what, but anyway, they wasn't, they wasn't getting up on it like they're supposed to. I hear that. We'd have caught everything it struck. We'd... Had 30 or 40 fish, I guess. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we had a good night at it and had a good time. And uh, we're going to put the boat on the trailer and drink a little coffee and uh, talk about it going home. That's right. Remember the sponsors, and we'll uh, see you tonight, probably. Uh, All right, folks, you can see that big small mouth right there. I couldn't get Steve and Brad to film him there. Uh, I throwed him up in the boat here. Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna... Well, you didn't save one of the cameras that much. Yeah, I know, I know. But anyway, I'll get him unhooked here and throw him yeah. back in. We'll catch him again next time. Come in. We've been having a hard time getting them in the boat. That's another large man. Yeah, that's another large man. You got a counter, he said. Little fat one, all right. Remember the sponsors, folks. We got a little tournament going on here, a little in boat tournament. <laughs> it looks like it's tied up right now, ain't it? All tied, all tied. All right. we'll get back out from here. Maybe, maybe we'll catch a few tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Steve kind of handicapping me and Brad back here, but we'll let that, we'll let that ride. Yeah. Get him in the boat. Yeah. I believe you've got it. We got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little small leader. A little yeah. small leader. All right. He took a command and lead, two to one to zero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just thought he was going to get it. They counting that red eye as a penalty on me there, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's always been the rule. Yeah. Oh. Ain't breath. Yeah, always. Huh. Yeah. You shouldn't okay. set the hook on it. Uh -huh. Yeah, well, he he's going back. We'll stay after it, folks. Hang with us. And maybe we'll catch them four tonight's over with. Whoa. Whether we got him on film or not, but he made a Whoa. jump. That's one of them acrobatic smallmouth, Mike. You think so? Yeah, I believe it was. Oh, yeah. Come here, bud. They say you got to land them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I couldn't help. He was just going where he wanted to. Check him out right there. That's a dandy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, man. This little rodeo we got going on, folks, has got things kind of fouled up. People throwing fish in the boat and everything else. Yeah. He got fishing line and all that. He's all right. That come out of the bottom of the boat. There you go. Whoa. Tied it back up again. Hmm. Oh, 
Mike, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish. Boy, yeah, man, that's a big one. Hold on, buddy. I gotta get down here where I can get him. Yeah, pretty good fish, Mike. Whoa, son. I reckon. Mm. Come here, buddy. Hold on, baby. Hold on. Got him, Mike. Got him, too. Fish, sir. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Yeah. That's that, good. that's one of them big, fat, nice slickings, ain't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, I guarantee. All right. Back in the water, Mike. Back in the water, too. Okay. Right back over where we come. Yeah, Brad's got a nice one on here. Let's see what he does with him, though. Yeah. Getting a little wild now. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Man, that's, that's a nice a one. real nice one. Yeah, boy, that looks like a big large man. Yeah. Right? No. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. He jumped in the boat and then jumped back out. Boy, he's lucky that time. Yeah. yeah. Well, he didn't come off, but. Well, he's trying to get back out. Yeah. yeah. Huh. He's trying to get back out, he said. Yeah. Hmm. That's that no net rule, folks. That's that little fat boy there. Yeah, a nice one. Uh -huh. All right, folks, we'll get back after him here. Uh -huh. Nice morning. Oh, hold on, buddy. Hold on. That's going to get you off that rod tip. Hold on. Oh, yeah. There he is. Big fat rascal there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that hooked out of him right quick, Mike. He's hooked right there around the nose. There he comes. Yeah, boy. There you go. All right. Back in the water. On the other side. Yeah. All right. Stay after him. Here. Yeah. Come here, buddy. Hey, 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 come here. Whoa, now. Hold it. <laughs> That's what you call putting them in the boat and back in the water. <laughs> yeah, damn you, you rat. Mm. All right. Mike Bill said that hit that spinner bait a little bit, didn't he? Yeah. Well, they have. Turned around there, Mike. Yeah, that's you. Oh, still. There we go. Got him in. All right. All right. Ready to go. Get back at him. <laughs> God, Whoa, I thought he just pulled off. Oh, Lord. There you go. <laughs> oh, goodness, Mike. Yeah. I thought he just pulled off. Yeah. He stayed on there and made one of them crazy runs. Made a crazy run, too. Yeah. All right, that's another nice one. All right. Back to water. Right? Yeah, he's going to. He's going to. He flopped down my hand. I was too, baby. There we go. Now then. You know, I would grow up to be 10 pounds. You yeah. never know. All right, folks, we're staying after him. All right, folks. Oh, man. man. God, dogs. Mike had a big fish on there, folks, and just, he just pulled off. Every time you think about rigging lights and cameras and the whole dang fish gets off. Well, don't worry. Won't know if they're bad, Mike. Yeah. He's coming right up here to you. Oh, man. 
That's a nice one. That's a nice one, yeah. Put one on, buddy. Now we got him in the bottom of the boat. Mm. He can't get away now. Got him. Yep. Like that. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, All right? Mike? Yep. Wadded that bait up, didn't he? Wadded it up, dude. All right. Big mm. Yeah. Go. Mike's got one on here, good. Hey, watch oh, out, that gun. I, what the devil was that? <laughs> I lied to son of a gun. <laughs> he just started coming up and he, I couldn't mind fast enough. <laughs> uh, buddy, I love them mercy. Okay, back at it, folks. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Nice sleeper. Mm. Don't oh. throw him in my coffee cup now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. The yeah. big knife slicker. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. He, he bumped that thing, missed it, and come back or got it. Uh, he uh, might have been, he missed it and then nothing and grabbed it. May have been. But I set it back on him and picked it up again, he got it. Where's my hook? Oh, yeah, right through the nose, Mike. Mmm. Boy, when they're hitting that thing like that, that's good. Yeah, it yeah. sure is. All right. Get right. back at them. All right. Steve's yeah. got one on there. I would help him, but I got my hands full myself. I mean, that's a good fish right there, buddy. Yeah, that is, oh. <laughs> it is a good one. Mm -mm. Oh. Whoa, about jumped in the boat with you. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Another nice one. <laughs> yeah, another nice one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. All right. Big and fat, yes, sir. He's been eating real good. He ain't about to tore my spinner bait all the pieces, Mike. Yeah. Mm. All right. Back after his spinner bait now. Yeah. Oh, Get him in here. <laughs> come on in here. Oh, looks like he told you spinner off or something there. Did well, I believe he did. I believe he did. He did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you uh, oh, you spin her off. off. Straighten you are. Huh. Yeah. What to think about? It? All right, Very good anyway. Very good. Meaner than a junkyard dog. Uh, run over the dog. We'll just stay after him anyway. <laughs> Brad got him in there. He might be little, but he's mean. All right. Get him loose and get back after him. Yeah. He's got one here and he don't know whether it's got him or he's got the fish. <laughs> Thought he lost it. Oh, Lordy. Pretty good. Not... God, the dog's a mighty Mike. He did just come off him. <laughs> oh, well. Rascal, you. All right, folks. He's got another one on there. That's a pretty good fish. Best. Shake it, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Like pretty good in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, pretty, good. pretty good smell. He's still a little bit wild, ain't he? Yeah, he's a little bit wild. Hold on, bud. Let me get a hold of you here. Yeah, I want you to touch that lip. <laughs> ah, it. Yeah. I had him and let my finger slip. Hey. Open your mouth. Now I got you, bud. And then, yeah. Got you now. Got him. Got him too. Okay. Going back at it. All right, Mike's got one here. Oh yeah, man, a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, put him in the boat. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Another pretty fish, man, I'm telling you. Yeah, gone. 
Need the needle nose, Mike. He kind of ate it, didn't he? Yeah, he did. All right, back in the water. We're back at it again. All right, Brad, found him another small one there. Got a good fish on back here now. Oh yeah. Huh. He just don't want to give up. No. He ain't gonna give up. Mm -mm. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> there. Every time that head comes out of the water, he wants to turn it down. Yeah. All right. That looks pretty good to me. Uh. Yeah. Feels like hot water. Yeah. And him down there that deep. Yeah. All right, Brad, good deal. That fire sometime. All righty, folks, we're back and, uh, uh, <clears throat> Golly Moses, we had a good time. Had a good time. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Real good time. We, uh, <laughs> we had a ball. I mean, that's tell right. You, we you know, showed that old buddy. No two ways about it. You and Mike uh, uh, caught a lot of fish there on that first segment there, and then Mike and Brad and I had a good time and and caught several fish. So you, you just go first. Tell us what you what was going on. You and Mike there. Well. Hey, son, the first couple of places me and old Mike fished, uh, we didn't do, good, do no good. But this, about the third place we hit, mm -hmm. son, they, they turned loose, and it was ever cast there for a yeah, while, wasn't it, it son? Was. It really was. And uh, everything worked out just fine. We was catching them on a, on a jig, and uh, a watermelon jig with a, a, a pepper green, yeah. root beer pepper green uh, plastic chunk. And son, they they hit it like they were supposed to, didn't yeah, they, Mike? You ain't kidding. They done real good. Yes, sir. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's that's been a good a good bait up there for several weeks now. That uh, uh, well, it, it it's a uh, it's got a little black in it. It's uh, it's got a, it's a whole lot like that uh, 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 copper crawl. Yeah. It, it's got a little black with copper in it, and then it's got a little watermelon. And we put a couple of strips of orange in it there too, and that uh, root beer pepper green uh, chunk. Yeah, hey son, they they seem to that that there's what they've been wanting for some time now. Yeah. And, and, and we we call it the copper crawl, which is you can you put them together, you can't hardly tell them apart. No. Yeah. You can't. I, I, that's that's true, but you're exactly right. Uh, you know those fish are uh they just keep creeping on out don't they? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah right now they 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 creeped out so far i can't reach them <laughs> <laughs> if, if as long as that water is is uh running everything seems to be pretty good uh, i know you and mike and and wesley went and you had 12 there and quit about 130 and me and uh, mike bolden went 
a couple of nights later, and we put nine good fish in the boat. And uh, it, it, I told Mike, I said, at 2.30, I said, I've had enough. I said, I fished for an hour and hadn't had another bite. Mm -hmm. I said, they've done something. And he got on the telephone there and looked at it, and they cut the water off at 1 o'clock. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I thought it was enough for me. So me and Richard, we went the next couple of nights and we'd done the same thing. They cut the water off at 6 o'clock, and we was on the water at 8.30. And, buddy, it was tougher than a nail now. It really was. I changed colors. I changed colors. I changed colors. I, ch I went to a spinner bait. I done everything. I went to a, 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 a creepy crawler and everything, son. I couldn't get a bite. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> so yep. I, told, I told Richard, I said, hey, son, I got more to do tomorrow. And I said, I need to get home and start thinking about doing it. This fishing is killing me right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know exactly uh, the feeling there, Bill. Yeah, uh, Mike and Brad, I knew uh, I was with them there on Saturday night, and I know Mike, he was going to stay there to jerk that spoon that next morning, yeah. and I, uh, I was going to get home in time to get some sleep and get to church, you know, and so I, I, I laid down on them. You yeah, know. yeah, buddy, yeah. <laughs> sure did. Sure yeah. enough, when it come daylight, Mike was a jerking that spoon. spoon. Yeah, he was. He really was. <laughs> Hello, caller. Hey, boys. Yeah. yeah. This is Ed. Uh, I was just going to tell you, uh, I, I was wondering if I was the only one that was having trouble with them fish up there because uh, they got locked down on me bad. Yeah. The, no, you're not the only one, Ed, I promise you. <laughs> and, uh, what happens, uh, Ed, when that one they cut that water off, son? Them fish is yeah. in a sort of a school until they turn that water off. When they turn that water off, son, them fish they scatter, <laughs> and uh, but it ain't where they used to be. So that's that's happened to me a couple of times here in the last few weeks, old buddy. But you know, I, I've been catching a few, two or three, but. But, you know, I'm having to work too dang hard for them. <laughs> <So> <laughs> yeah. I think I'm about to go to Duke. Yeah. We, that's the yeah. same way with us. We've had to work terribly hard for them. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Ed, what's the report off of Douglas? Why I got you on the I phone? Ain't been, I ain't been up there too long. I don't even know nothing about it. I, I ain't been out there all year once, once or twice, maybe. Yeah. Well, I, I, I'm, fixing to, I'm fixing to change my... my direction though i think i'm gonna start heading up there a little bit yeah well if you do let us know what's going on we'll keep you informed on norris and uh uh maybe we can get a good trip out of the deal yes sir Hope you all right okay y'all be good okay ed good to talk to you buddy you too okay see you bud all right good to hear from ed yeah uh, always yes sir and it sounds like uh, he, he's kind of like us. They, we get on them and then they're gone real quick. That's, that's exactly right. Yeah. So, uh, but they are, they are transitioning and they do it, Bill. You know what better than I do. They do it every year. Every and, year, son. Uh, uh, as yeah. the old boy says, when it gets to the end of the dog days, they tougher than a nail. And yeah. uh, we're just about to the end of the dog days here and it's coming September here and the night starts cooling off a little bit and uh, hey it's going to going to get better going to yeah. get better I know uh, calling from memory last year right, we had them a couple of warm days there in December and me and old Brad went up there buddy and I tell you what we had two wonderful trips That's right. in December yes sir and uh, uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to some cooler temperatures yeah, myself. Yeah, I am too, Steve. I sure yes, am. sir. It's, uh, the hot weather's been tough on me. I, I've not been able to get out and do what I want to do. Uh, uh, it's just been more, it's just been hotter than I want to be out in. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, so we're, we're looking forward to that. You know, uh, sucks when you're catching fish. I don't know if it gets too cold. No, that's the truth. It don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Yeah, I, I, you know, we, you and Paul and I were out there at Dale Holler and it got up in 15 degrees. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Everything froze up and this, that, and the other. But uh, anyway, we caught a lot of fish out there that, that winter four last two. So, uh, 
but yeah, you know, we we know, and, and you know, it's it's harder to fish uh, deep uh, because I don't think. Well, I know it's not thinking. I know for a fact that them fish you just don't feel them. You don't feel, you don't feel that hard thaw. No, you no, know, you don't. It, it's right. just loads your rod and then, up. And then that, the the fish that I've caught here in the last couple of weeks have, has been awfully deep. Yeah. They, every one has been thirty feet. Yeah. And uh, and they they'll only thing that you'll ever feel is the rod will get heavy. Yeah. And uh, you think, well, I'm in grass or I'm uh, in on the bottom or whatever, but you you jerk on it and it'll be a fish. Yeah. You never felt that fish. And I've, I've right. had several of them bites. I, yeah. I never felt the fish, but the fish was there. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I went to set that jig down right, right there beside the boat, and uh, you know how it feels. You know, when you're, you're on the bottom and you're picking it up and you're coming off what you think is a drop-off, you know, two or three foot, and you know, and then you're following that thing down with your rod, and the next thing you know, when you pick it up, he's a fish guy. Yeah, you that's never, right. never yeah. felt, never him. felt him. No, sir. Chored it, and never well, felt it. Him it it's been unusual the last few days. It really has. But, uh, but you know, I can understand. Shoot for, uh, they ain't supposed to bite every night. No, that's right. And uh, they, they going to take a rest every. Uh, they like me. Yeah, <laughs> when, when I get tired, I'm gonna take. Yeah, I'm gonna take me a rest, and that's what they're doing. Yeah, I hear you, but <laughs> I hear you, uh, Mike. A little bit, so we're getting close on time. So give us a quick uh, rundown on what you and Brad done that night there while I was laying there on the boat asleep. <laughs> I know what I was doing before, before I went to sleep. I was catching fish, but then after I went to sleep, I don't know what you two done. Well, we just went on on the and tried some different places. And Seen Still like caught fish, did you, son? <laughs> changed the baits a time or two there, and then we got on a uh, different jig there. That uh, his, uh, crawler, I forgot what he said, a mud bug or something, other than he put on there, and then uh, we went around that one spot there and back and forth uh, twice, and, and uh, then he just caught the heck out of that fish on that one bait there. Yeah. I caught two or three, lost two or three, but he wore them out right there pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's see. I bet this is Brad. Hello. Hey, Steve. Hey, Tony, how you doing? I'm uh, pretty good. Good. I ain't, I ain't got much of a fish report because I only caught four keepers last week. It was tough last week. I fished seven hours and only had four keepers. They goodness, sounds like one of our trips. What? A week before, I had seven. Yeah. Well, I know they're pulling the water hard. Uh, yeah. Is that what you're finding too? Yeah, that's what it was on my job. I had bed. Yeah. Uh, and you know, that's like Bill's been talking about the, the fish on Norris. Uh, you know, they seem to quit biting when they shut the turbines off. And uh, uh, and then there again, if they're running Norris and feeding Watch Bar, and, and just like everybody else is, then they got to run Watch Bar so that. Get rid of that water flow somewhere, so uh, yeah. it, it just creates it on down the stream. Yeah, I'm just gonna call you and tell you how it went. That's good. We'll try again this weekend. Well, we ain't gonna give up on you. Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, that's for sure. <laughs> I ain't gonna give up either. <laughs> I didn't figure you would. That's yeah. I just get mad and go back at them harder. Yeah. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta get some on top before Mike gets started here. Before I can <laughs> yeah, hey, look, Mike's got a, he he wants to wait till there's snow on the road, then go get them. <laughs> yeah, oh Lord, hey, good to hear I'll from you. Later, All right, appreciate you, buddy. See you. Oh <laughs> right. uh, yes, they after from Tony. Yeah, yes, they'll sir. they'll come back. I mean, you know, they're just laying out there waiting till oh yeah, cool that's, weather. That's for sure, buddy. Yeah, yes, sir. So the menders get down to there. Uh, well, you know, appreciate that report from Tony, and I'll tell you another report I got. The the, the striped white bass uh, are uh, in the breaks down in the Kingston there at the mouth, or uh, the clinch in the Tennessee meet there in the Kingston area. A uh, guy told me he's standing there on the bank and said, he man, he wished he was out there yeah, watching them, <laughs> you know. So uh, uh, be, be looking for that. I know last year... Uh, 
Mike and Wesley and I uh, were down there two, three or four trips, and uh, some uh, Mike Trail and Eric Trail. They and they caught some nice bass out of them breaks. Bill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I mean some dandies. Yeah, them, uh, them bass will get in them our meters yeah, just yeah, like yes, them. Yes, sir. Do, son. Yes, yeah, sir. They're not foolish. I mean, you know, no. uh, <laughs> uh, you take a. A school of 30 stripe in a gang of men, is, they's a lot of cripples. That's right, uh, and that's somebody. what they, they always said them our bass was lazy. Yeah. They, 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 they just sitting under them our stripes and they yeah. catch what they injure and they, and they get hurt and they just sit down there and yeah. gorge on them. That's right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they don't have <laughs> much lazy as they are smarter. Yeah. yeah. That's right. So anyway, uh, Want to pass that along. It's a lot of fun uh, when you get in those things. And, and I've got two young people lined up. I, I, I told them as soon as they I got word they were going to bite, I'll take you. And uh, uh, so I've got to get them on the water. And, right. and uh, it, you know, uh, that's the best way in the world to get a, a young person hooked on fishing. Yep, that's right. I mean, yeah. you put them in that right there, it's one ever cast. And, uh, you know, they just, it, it's, they're hooked. But yep, it's, yep, it's, I mean, yep. they, you don't have to sit out there for hours waiting on a bite. Nope. You know, they're right there in front of you, and, and uh, then, you you know, it, it's a good thing. So uh, keep that in mind, folks. If you've got small kids, grandkids, whatever, uh, get down there on Watts Bar, and, and you'll see them. I mean, they just run in the river, and, and, and when you see them breaking, they're there. Yes, sir. They sure are. Uh, I hadn't heard anything else. Uh, as far as fishing reports, uh, the last last couple of trips that I've been up there, I, they they must be catching some walleye. I I, I seen two old boys at uh, two different locations, and they stayed there. Uh, when I left the lake, they were still there. Mm -hmm. So uh, they they that's what they were doing. They were walleye fishing under the light. Right. And uh, undoubtedly, they catching something, or they wouldn't be out that's there that day. I, I yeah I just about I didn't agree. get to talk to him or nothing like that but uh, I know of two different boats that I seen that was walleye fishing right uh, it's uh, I mean you know I'm like you I'm not gonna sit out there all night if I'm not catching something <laughs> that's right that's right old buddy. <laughs> I'll be moving around or doing something hunting yeah. and, uh, uh, but uh, I think you know Mike. He's caught two or three walleye here in the last, few, you know, like in the last three or four weeks, and and uh, on that uh, jig, and and uh, uh, so they're there. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, uh, yes sir. What do you think, Mike? Uh, you just luck of the draw, or you think that there's uh, several walleye still left in North oh, Lake? There's, there's several still in there. They're running around chasing them men. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right, Mike. Just follow right behind them minners. And well, I know, I, I know he caught one one night with me. Yeah. And son, I thought, well, I'll take that gentleman home. And no, sir, he wasn't about to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just joking there, Mike, old boy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everybody says, what would you do? That? I said, well, heck, when you catch one of them, buddy, they go in the box. Yes, sir. Yeah, but they're legal he, size. They're in the box. One he, one he yeah. had there was up close to five pounds, son. Yeah. He really was. He, yes, he'd, have made a, he'd have made a good mess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we throw a lot of smallmouth back and everything else, but then when you catch one of them, they come home. They, they coming home. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> exactly right. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you've got any more fishing reports, uh, I. Somebody told me, I talked to a guy, you know, every, you stop, but I was at the gas station there this afternoon getting gas, and this guy pulled in, we got to talking, and said, let's go fishing. I said, yeah, I'm ready. He said, me too. Uh, and he fishes a lot on Watch Bar, and uh, uh, I told him, I said, man, I hadn't been to Watch Bar in several, several weeks. As a matter of fact, I went, Mike and Weston and I went down there, there back in July on the moon, and I said, well, that was, you know, I said, I just didn't, we just don't go down there. And, and I said, plus, we fish when it's, you know, when it's at night, when it's comfortable. And he says, I like it when it's hot. I said, well, I'm glad you do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm glad he does. Yes, sir. I said, man, that's a, 
I used to fight that heat, but I said I don't anymore. I can't, I can't stand it no it's more, right. son. I really just can't. Just sitting out there and feel that sun beating down yeah. on you and the sweat running <laughs> off <laughs> of you. Yeah. I said, mm, yeah. Uh, oh, Max, Max told me that the uh, boys that was over at Dale Holler uh, fishing daytime, he said most of the days it was cloudy, overcast mm -hmm. or something. They'd go out there and on these creature baits and. Uh, he said they were catching several nice fish yeah. over in the daytime, but he said that when it come nighttime, he said it was as slow as he'd ever seen it. Yeah. Uh, it, well, what can we say? I don't. You know, can you get a bait down there deep enough to catch one? That's you know that's the thing about it. And then could you feel him when he did bite? Yep, that's right. Yeah, and yeah. it's a. Well, they've been doing the same thing over there. To, to Max that they've been doing to us, they've been uh, they've been running in the water during the day mm -hmm. and cutting it off at night when it's real it's real hot. You know, they've been running it during the day for the air conditioners and all of that. Right. And once that they cut that water off, them our fish just sort of, boom, go. <laughs> yeah. You get down to the, trying to fill them dang fish if you're fishing uh, regular monofilament, you know, the yeah. fluorescent. Uh, to see under the black light, you got a lot of stretch in that line. Ooh, further, you gotta, yeah, gotta, the further out you throw, the deeper you go with it, the more stretch you got. That's right. That, that braided line, you you can it don't stretch, and you can feel them fish uh, hit that bait. Uh, yep. And stuff of that braid, but that well, monofilament. I in. fished that braid for a long time, but it hurt my hands so bad yeah. and arms. I had to quit using it, yeah. but. Uh, I don't th think if I'd have still using it, I don't know whether I could use either hand or arm or not. But it it don't have no stretch, and once you st jerk as hard as we jerk, uh, son, it hurts so bad. I just I just had to quit using it. I yeah. mean, it did. Uh, it's a uh, yeah. It's good for its purpose. Yeah, oh yes, sir. <laughs> if you if you're a young man and and, and can stand it, son, it, it, it you can like Mike said. Hey, mm -hmm. son, you can feel them down there breathe on it now. You really yeah. can. That's a fact. Okay. Hey, uh, we got a couple of tournaments around here going on. Uh, uh, the Edgemore Outdoors, uh, East Tennessee Bass Trail, their next tournament's uh, got, got it marked here. September the 3rd, or is that the 8th? I better put my glasses on. Yeah, September the 3rd, Safe Light. Uh, 3 p.m. Tom Fuller Park there in Rockwood. So remember that. That's sponsored by a great business over there at Edgemore Outdoors and uh, uh, putting on a good little old tournament right there. That'll be a dandy. And then you got the local guys, the Blue Ridge Bassmasters here out of Oak Ridge. Uh, their September tournament's to be announced. And I, I haven't got up with anybody to see where that's at. And their catfish guys are on Chickamauga, uh, September the 10th uh, at Grasshopper Recreation Area. Uh, that's a 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. They've gone back to days, Mike. Where's Grasshopper? I, buddy, i tell you the truth about it, Mike. I'd have to look up the map and see. I don't know where that uh, Grasshopper Rec uh Recreation area is. I don't know what's up I'm in the river. I've not never heard of it. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Is that coming out of Richland Creek, that big camp thing over there on the other side? Yeah, I don't know. It's. It, I couldn't tell you. I've mm -hmm. I've never heard of it. You know, it's the first time I've, you know, heard anything of anybody call it that. If that is it. it, it yeah. I don't know. We just have to look that up and see. But mm -hmm. that's where they're at, September the 10th. Uh, be here before we know it. Uh, and then we got James Knuckles' uh, Phoenix Trail, uh, Volunteer Bass Trail, and uh, he'll be at Chickamauga October the 8th, and so forth and so on. Uh, September the 24th, this is a White Pine Tournament Trail. Uh, White Pine Marine, uh, their next tournament is September the 24th on Douglas at Shady Grove. For those of you folks that's fishing that trail, and then naturally we got the uh, team tr Tennessee Team Trail, their classics coming up here October 14th and 15th on Chickamauga. Boys, 
Them boys, that, that's good. They wait until this water well, cools, cools off. off a lot. Yeah. Then. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot easier on the fish. Yeah, uh, sure it sure is. Yeah, without a doubt. And then, you know, we got several uh, fall trails starting here at the Heartland. Uh, get on the, uh, their uh, web page. You can pull that up uh, and uh, take a look at that. Just like Watch Bar here at Caney Creek, uh, October the 31st, November the 7th, November the 28th, December the 12th, January the 9th, and February the 6th. So uh, there's several of those listed here. Uh, just pull it up and, and, and run through them, and you can pick one of those to, to fish, and uh, without a doubt. Uh, okay, folks, I'm going to mention a little bit about our sponsors. Uh, you know, man, I can't, can't do the uh, show without them, so don't remember them. Make sure you let them know you appreciate them doing the show or sponsoring the show and because uh, we couldn't be here without them. And, uh, uh, you know, we got some great sponsors. They all got businesses of their own. And, uh, uh, you know, buy local. Yeah, yeah. They, you can't have nothing without good sponsors, that's, Steve. That's, and and uh, you, you've got some dandies. And, yeah. Hey. Uh, we do we do everything we can to patronize them. Yeah, boy. Uh, and, and you know, <laughs> Edgemore Outdoors. I just this for instance, uh, right quick. Uh, a guy told me he went to uh, up up uh, Forty Way there uh, it, to the big store up there and, and uh, looking for some uh, baits. Didn't have them. I said, I told him to go buy Edgemore Outdoors, and I said, if he don't have it, he'll get it for you. And he'll have them out in the next two or three days, days too. Yeah. yeah, but I said, I just about guarantee you he's got them hanging on the shelf. And sure enough, he did. Yeah. So, uh, you know, and, and they've got the latest thing out over there. Jim's got connections with a lot of people. He has. And, and uh, being at these trade shows and stuff that he, he goes to and this, that, and the other over the years, and he gets stuff that nobody else gets before. That's right. Yeah. And, he, and he gets it. He, he don't take too long. I, I know I, he's got me some stuff yeah. that I didn't think would be in the next 10 days. In three or four days, it was there. Yeah. Yes, I, sir. I, I mean, he's got uh, corner lot trading down there in Rockwood. Gary Baisley, folks, uh, check with Gary. He's still got some uh, things for your yard and for the fall cleanup. You know, if you want to uh, do whatever things, get things set up for winter, check with them down there at uh, Corner Lock Trading Air in, in uh, Rockwood. And then Reynolds Racing in Marine. Uh, Glenn's got, you know, the side-by-sides, uh, the boats. And uh, I haven't talked to Glenn in the last few days, but he was going out. Uh, west to look at a new brand of boat and uh, so uh, I can't wait to get back with him remember right. the rest of the sponsors Tim's tires and so on and so forth uh, we'll be looking forward to being here next week always always all right God bless you folks have a safe week and we hope to see you next week Country Fresh Foods. You may not know the name, but you definitely know the taste. Our homemade fudge is shipped all over the country. Its quality is unmatched, and it's made right here in Oliver Springs. But you don't have to travel all over to enjoy it. You can get it right here at our retail store, Pamela Ann's Fudge Candy and Gifts. The highest quality fudge in a countless variety of flavors. And we also carry a variety of candy and unique gifts for you to enjoy. Come enjoy the taste you have loved for years at Pamela Ann's Fudge Candy and Gifts in Oliver Springs, a division of Country Fresh Foods. Right me and Kay Harback invite everyone to come on over to Rome Street Grill to experience a pleasant dining experience with them. Rodney knows how important it is to get folks back to work after lunch. So they have a speedy lunch at Rome Street Grill. They will get you in and get you out every day. They have a special at lunch or order off the menu. So go visit the fine folks at Rome Street Grill. Call them at 865-285-6025. That's Rome Street Grill across from Jerry Duncan Ford in Harriman. Call them at 865-285-6025.